It's really hot right now. I'm leaving these hatches open so that it doesn't boil inside. Today we are hoping to leave from Carizales and go straight to Zihuatanejo. It should take us anywhere from two to six days, depending on the different weather models. We are hopeful we can do it in a shorter period of time. Fingers up, and we're motoring. We got some secondhand Sunbrella from a store in La Cruz and made a new cover for our water tanks. It looks like the first version works pretty well, so I'm just gonna do the same thing for the second one. You ready for me to turn up into the wind? Yes, ma'am. All right, to course. On course, and now we're actually going faster than we were motoring. Hey, hey. We have a container ship coming in on a pretty tight course relative to us. It's probably gonna pass by us in close to 40 minutes. Nora's got a meeting at a fairly inconvenient time. Um, we're getting pretty close to this container ship now. Um, and it is going to be a fairly close approach. It wants to come into this channel that we're crossing right now but we're moving nice and fast. Um, so it looks right now like we are going to cross where it wants to enter in the next 10, 15 minutes, and it's still 20 minutes away from being near us or when it's going to be nearest to us. So it looks like everything's fine, but an inconvenient moment to need to be on deck alone, but uh, rarely is everything working out to convenience. This container ship has made my life very hard. It seems to have well overshot the channel, which seemed to be a move to insist on going ahead of us. They've got us by tonnage, so I have to give way. So I've turned hard to starboard to aim behind him, but it's going to give us a very, very close transit. And I just, I, I can't possibly understand why that was the choice that they made. The monitor in the radio, they are not hailing us, so who knows what that's about. But I've done my best to, yeah, just hold my course, and we were going really quick, almost as fast as they were, and there was more than enough time to go behind us. But they, they seem to have forced this course, so I am, yeah, aiming well behind them, and, uh, We'll wait to aim down until they're past. Not really much else I can do. Well, they're through now. They probably look tiny on camera, but whatever. We've got a fish! Got some pretty square waves in the starboard quarter and uh, Gusty conditions, a little bit shifty, but nothing too, too crazy. But uh, the combination of those waves on the quarter and the shifty gusties are making it so that it's a hand steering game, at least with the way our setup is. Some rice to go with the beautiful fish we just caught. It's calmed down significantly now. We've got the fish in our bellies and uh, the waves are following nicely. The wind died first, and now the waves have caught up too. Uh, much more relaxed now. bird on the panels. Probably a booby. I feel kind of bad, but I'm gonna scare it away. Get out of here. Hey dog, go. Yeah, it's a booby. 
Go away. I can't believe you're so brazen. Get out. Get out. I don't want to touch you, but get out of here. Dude, you're pooping on me. Leave. I'm going to poke you. I'm going to get a stick and I'm going to poke you with it, man. Jesus. Go away. Get out of here. Well, that did it. Yeah, already laid a bunch of big fat turds on the panels. Gross, gross, gross. Got morning dolphins again. Uh, this is good sailing. On camera, they don't look very big, but when you're passing this close to them out on the water, it feels pretty big. Looks like there's a little bit more wind about 200 feet that way. Well, we can head that direction without tacking, see if we catch a bit more. Maybe it's just broken up by dolphins. Jeez. <laughs> there's so many. Got a couple of loaves of bread rising. Getting a lot bigger winds today, again, finally, in the afternoon. It's graying up, which is a little unfortunate. It makes it seem like we might get uh, the thunderstorms that were promised, which I'm really hoping doesn't happen. Um, I mean, I'm really hoping we don't get hit, and I'm also very much hoping to not see lightning at all. There's not really any options for us. There's no nearby anchorages, and uh, the longer we wait, the more likely we are to get caught in some uh, bigger wind that's coming soon.
Laura is cooking lentil soup and making bread right now because I'm very, very lucky. Fair winds for us, please. First loaf is out, next loaf is about to go in. That looks good. Odd shape, but... Mm -hmm. really warm in here right now, but we made two loaves of bread and a big pot of lentil stew, which only took about 15% of our 48 volt bank. So we are chilling. Lovely bread, <laughs> squishy lovely cells. These waves are getting pretty chonky. Luckily, the period's increasing along, along with the height increase that too. Surfing. Holy cow, that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. We are just over 50 nautical miles away from our final southerly destination this season and the wind has completely died, so we're going to get the drifter up. Oh, whoa. There's tons of little glowy things in the water. Yeah, the bright blue phytoplankton. fishing boat out there and we just passed a float. We're keeping a careful eye out for more. It's been a pretty slow day of sailing today so I've gotten to work on the next one of our covers for our water tanks. I've got it fully draped and pinned. Now I'm ready to take it off, test it one more time, and then get it sewn up. Yay! The wind picked up! But boo! Now it's too much for the drifter! Right. I'm pretty happy with it. And that's sunset on what we hope is our final day of sailing south this season. Good thing. We are anchored in Bahia Potosi. It took us just under three full days to get here, which exceeded our expectations. We're pretty happy with. Now we get to go visit with some family.